Hello, welcome to Ansem Griffin's fourth MATLAB tutorial. This is mainly concerned with point processing and image processing in MATLAB. As before, uh, present working directory is set called MATLAB and we have a number of images here and we're going to be looking at Sorrento. So we're going to read in our very first image and the command to read in an image is so. And I'm not going to suppress the output just for the moment. And MATLAB is case sensitive, so I've got to do this. And a lot of numbers are going to flash by here. So what's going on? Uh, let's do my. So it's 960 by 1280 by 3, a red plane, a green plane, and a blue plane. If I say this, so. The red is 18, the green is 33, and the blue is 38. So those added together would give you a fairly dark color, a black. If we go somewhere else completely in the image, no idea what it's going to be like. Uh, so the red is 128, the green is 147, and the blue is 162. So that will give us something like a mid-white. OK, so what does the image look like? So there we are, a pretty picture of Sorrento. Okay. Now, what's this? So we know a number of ways to get inside the image. We mentioned this already. That'll tell me that. We can say this. Okay, same information, just getting a different way. I'm going to convert A to grayscale. So A gray. Let's have a look at it. So there it is in grayscale. And now I'm going to look at the histogram of that. Okay, now we showed the two together in a minute, but for the moment, zero is black, 255 is white, and up here is the count. So you can see here that we have 3 by 10 to the 4, that's over 30,000 pixels are white, or 250, and we can see here that we have 1 by 10 to the 4, that's 10,000, so we have 10,000 pixels for all values, say roughly between 30 and 150, very roughly like that. Very few black and very few pixels around the 200 area. Can we see the two of them lined up together? Yes, we can. We can say subplot. Um, so, Let's get out of the way. Subplot 1, 2, 1. We've created two placeholders. And the first one, we've put in the first slot, we've put in a grey. And now I'm in the right hand side, I'm going to show the histogram values, like so. And there we are. So, what's going on here? Hopefully you can see this. We can see here that there are loads of darkish to mid grey. So that's there, the headland and some of the dark water here. These very high values over here are the, the sky, which is near white, and the very bright bits of the sea. And then there's really no black. If we just say these darkest values around 30 will correspond to just where the mouse is pointing at the moment. So the next command I want to talk to you about is IM adjust, and that does a contrast stretch. So if I say uh, B equals IM adjust, semicolon. Now let's look at the two histograms. Well, let's look at that image now start. So that's it. 
to the naked eye, nothing much might have happened. It might look like the same. Let's put the two histograms up each by each other, up by side by side. So we're going to put that first. So if you remember, this is the original histogram before we did the contrast stretch. And now on this side, we're going to put the contrast stretched. So, what's going on here? You can see here that in the one, that's the original here on the left, very few black pixels. On the right, that we've got, we've stretched it, we've dragged some, there is black. So, in effect, that you've got your rubber band at each end and you've tugged it to the limits of 0 and 255. The naked eye mightn't might appear that much different, but you should get more of a dynamic range with the contrast stretched image. Uh, the next command I want to talk to you about is IM2BW, and that's going to convert the grayscale image to black and white. So we say C equals im 2 bw and we're going to take the original uncontrast stretched image. So that's going to convert the grayscale image to black and white. Let's have a look at it. And sorry about that, let's just have one more go on that. And there it is, it's a black and white image. So, it, MATLAB has picked on a threshold image, a threshold value I should say. Uh, just say for the sake of argument it's 100. So any pixels that are in the range of 0 to 99 become black. So that will be along there. And any pixels that are 100 or more become white. So we end up with that. Okay, that concludes our very basic introduction. Thank you.